on this maple syrup now for about the last week. Uh, as you can see behind me in the tank, the levels have dropped the tank right down to this band right here. Uh, I, I've boiled roughly 120 gallons so far. Anyway, it's getting to be time to take this pan inside and finish on the stove. I'm going to take this inside and bring you guys back when I get it set up on the stove. Stay with me. Alright, I'm going to turn that off for just a minute, guys. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I have my thermometer in the uh, maple syrup. Once it reaches 214 degrees, I take my canning jars that I'm going to be using and I put them in the oven. I preheat the oven to 230 to 240 degrees. So, let me check see what my thermometer is reading. The thermometer is reading 214 degrees right now. So, i got to get these canning jars put in the oven. Okay, the reason that I put the canning jars in the oven is because I'm putting 220 degree maple syrup into cold jars. The jars are very possibly going to break. And that would just therefore waste my all my hard work and time of baking the maple syrup. So, the jars go in the oven to preheat the jars. Now I'm also going to be putting the uh, lids, or the seals, uh, in a pot of water and bringing that up to a, a simmer so that they seal well on top of the jars. This sap has to reach 220 degrees to be maple syrup, so I'm going to be having to keep a close eye on this. Now, if you're making maple syrup, you want to make sure you keep a close eye not to go over 220 degrees because once it reaches that temperature, it starts to foam up and will foam over the edges of your uh, pan or pot or dish or whatever you're using to uh, heat the maple syrup. So just remember that. Keep a close eye. I'm going to get these lids going. One important thing to remember guys, when you're boiling your maple sap inside, you want to make sure that you have your exhaust fan on for your stove and that it vents outside. It creates a lot of humidity and that humidity is rich with uh, sugars that are being boiled off, it'll make your microwave and your cabinets all uh, sticky and you'll end up having to wash it all down. I just turned this off so that you guys could hear me as I'm talking to you as I'm making the video. So make sure you keep your exhaust fans on. Right now our sap is at 218.5 degrees. As you can see how this is starting to foam, now just imagine as it hits that crucial point, this pan boiling it over and onto the stove it's not a good thing so that's what I was talking about with, when I was saying it foams I'm gonna get another temperature reading right now it jumps from 216 to 220 real quick we are now at 220 degrees I'm gonna take my canning jars out of the oven I'm gonna set them right here I'm gonna turn this down so the front burners on and the back burners on low just to keep it warm those jars out. Okay. Now I'm going to elevate the back of this pan so that all the sap flows to the front and make it easier to work. I'm going to use a cooling rack to do that. I'm going to then take this and put it on the back burner. I'm now going to turn the back burner off. Get my funnel that we prepared with a filter on it. Set that on top. I have my ladle. Now when I fill these, I'm going to fill them just to the bottom of the neck. Uh, so I have just a little bit of head space in here. I'll take that off, go to the next jar. Take my pre-warmed seal, put it on there. Take my my ring, thread it on, and we have a jar of fresh maple syrup. I'm going to set this on a towel to cool. You want to make sure you put it on a towel so it's on a cool on a on a uh, insulated surface so that it doesn't uh, cool the bottom of the jar too fast and break the jar. I go on to my next.
Well guys, even with all the filtering that I had done previously on this pan of uh, maple syrup, the last filter that I made on my funnel here, as you can see, collected a lot of stuff that I don't want in my maple syrup. I'm all done with the maple syrup for now. All I have left to do is clean up my mess and of course, mm, enjoy the fruit of my labor. Hey, I've had fun talking to you guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again soon in my next episode. Mmm. Good stuff. You're still here? Hey, if you want some maple syrup, you gotta make your own. I already showed you how. Okay guys, that's all I have for today. If you guys have enjoyed what you've seen today on today's video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right here. By subscribing to my channel, you're going to be getting instant access to all the content on my channel. You'll be notified of when I put new videos up on YouTube, and you'll have a, uh, access to my archive of all the videos I've already made and shared with you guys. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope to see you soon on my next episode. Until then, bye-bye.